Here we are again. This is the last episode of the Splitter Saga, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, thanks to Thorsten from Germany and of course some other nice people here on the internet. That's, that's the beauty of YouTube. We can talk and we can learn and we can teach each other. Why not? So it's always something to learn and it's always something to understand and uh, to put in practice. Okay, so for me it was a really, really uh, interesting case because I never thought there will be a 3DB loose. So it doesn't matter what kind of splitter are you using, it will always be a 3DB loose. And uh, in the meantime, searching the internet and trying to understand the phenomenon, I found this nice article from um, digikey.com I'll put the link down there and here we have a lot of nice and interesting things about dividers and combiners and and it's looking like this uh, splitter particular splitter it's a Wilkinson divider with a quarter wave transmission line and a resistor in between the ports and here is something interesting about it has an insertion loose excluding the 3 dB power reduction. So it's a matter of power reduction, in fact. In the moment when you are splitting the signal, there is a power reduction of 3 dB. Eventually, we add the typical losing of the, of the splitter. And also, something else interesting, I found a calculator, the, path the N power divide calculator. So let's say in our particular case, we have two ports the path loose it's 1 dB for this kind of splitter and there we have 4.0 almost like in my measurements I remember a four port Akasom it was around 6 dB let's see 7.0 to 6 dB let's say we have a, we have the antenna we have a filter and we have an amplifier and then the splitter is coming here two ports at least let's say 2 dB from so filter and then we have an amplifier like maybe let's call it 10 dB amplification so we are going down here the antenna let's call antenna like uh, 10 dB also to make it simple you know 10 dB 2 dB minus of course so 10 and 10 will have 18 dB at the input let's say but remember that we are already losing minus 3 dB plus two ports uh, okay minus 3 and minus 1 that's minus 4 dB so finally the whole signal here it's like 14 dB and the same thing available for let's say minor 1 minor 2 antenna if we push each of these minors with 16 dB like we are using maximum in Europe. Remember that 16 dB minus 4, it goes here with 12 dB to the antenna, okay? And of course, we are wasting some signal. Of course, uh, count the antenna always, let's say 10 dB. So in this case, we need to push here to have a maximum of 6. We need to push, we need to push it with 10 dB here. 10 dB going in, minus 4, we are here with 6, and plus 10, we have 16 dB. You got it? It's very simple to understand this. 10 dB for both of them. But we have the isolation in between ports. Remember, when this one is sending with 10 dB, the other guy is receiving with 10 dB minus 18 dB like I have on this device and that means minus 8 dB going to the input of the second minor. After my opinion it's kind of big so it's very possible you need to use attenuators here to have a lower signal or maybe apply for another antenna gain in the application. Let's say starting with 15 dB, that means we are going with 1 dB TX in through the splitter, minus 18 turns to be a minus 17 
db to the other minor. These mathematics are only if you don't care about the real tx power, you know, about beaconing. But anyway, that's the way the things are running. And uh, remember that it's always a 3 dB power lose before anything else. So if we apply a 0 dB here, we're going to have a minus plus the insert loses. And uh, let me have a very simple test. Somebody asked for uh, what's happening if we use an attenuator and then a uh, termination uh, load. None of the NA saver is on. Let's connect this guy. Let me have my 820 megahertz to 900. I'm always using these frequencies because my calibration is done in between these frequencies. Let's use attenuator 20 dB and load on port number one. We'll take the signal from RF2 from port number two. Let's see what's happening. Nothing special. We have the same 3.377 signal like uh, like the day before. Let's see, 860 megahertz. 3.427. So doesn't affect with anything the output. So let's say this is attenuator plus dummy load doesn't affect the other port. Now, what we can try is to see what's happening in between ports with the attenuator and dummy load at the input. So somehow this is a classical, uh, you see, minor attenuator. And of course, we have minus 38.6 in between ports because we already have minus 18 in between ports plus 20 db and that's 38 db in between ports this is very very clear by the way i have another 9 almost 10 db attenuator let's put this in front without termination Let's see what's happening. Minus 29. This is so amazing. <laughs> so, an attenuator at the input, you know, let's say we have the antenna here, we have the amplifier, attenuator or something anyway. It will raise the signal, dummy load only on, at the input, clear, minus 38. Okay. Um, let's have the other. 10 dB almost attenuator in between ports. So this is a very typical minor attenuator splitter and output. Of course, dummy load here. We should have around 48 dB. Let's see, minus 78 <laughs> in between ports. So be sure if you have this kind of um, install, there will be no more problem about shooting each other, you know, miners shooting each other. All right, let's have this in the air. Minus 62. Okay. So this is very, very clear. And the important too, and thanks everybody for uh, make this clear because I could understand also the phenomenon and uh, the theory behind splitters and uh, dividers and so on. A termination it's always a need because power will return into the system and it, that that is wrong and we always have a 3 db power loose doesn't matter how many ports you are using count a minus 3 db from the beginning and then of course we'll add the number of ports three point let's say four ports that should be seven if it's 12 ports that will be 15 and so on. I hope it was useful. If you have any questions, any comments, please write them down on my channel. Everybody will be really happy, me including, uh, to answer, of course, if we can. And uh, please like, of course, please like, please subscribe. And uh, why not? Let's have some fun. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>